Chet. I love you. This guy's the man. Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful Little Italy, also known as the Albanian Corner in the Bronx, New York City. Today, I'm so excited because I'm going on an Albanian food tour with my boy Nick from Bread, Salt, and Hearth. You got it. <laughs> so what are we doing today, Nick? All right, today, like you said, we are in Little Italy. Um, this is an old Italian neighborhood that in the late 60s, early 70s, um, Albanians started to move to. Mm -hmm. Started to open up their own spots. We're right here next to Arthur Avenue, Crescent Street, and Hughes. And we're about to have some burek, we're about to have some chibapa, we're about to have some other Albanian treats. I think you wanted some raki. For sure. <laughs> 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 and we're outside of Dea, which is where we're gonna have our first burrito. Okay, so we're outside of Dea. They make burrito, so we're gonna have like three different burrito. From here, we're gonna go to like three other spots. Literally, everything is in this one two-block radius, yes. right? Yep. All right here, very easy to do. I'm excited. I'm hungry. It's already ten in the morning. Let's go. Let's do it. Passes, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go, my friends. Yes. <laughs> Albania in America. I love. I love it. He's me. Hey, hey, nice to meet you finally. <laughs> so this is more like, you know, a really chill spot. Come here, relax, have some burek, have some yogurt. We're gonna go in the back right now and see them making burek. Yo. Yo, David, what's up, man? Ready to go. So this burek is a little different from what I've seen before, so. Uh, you eat. want the roll soup? I can do the roll soup. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. But this one, it has a double layer. So you did, you did the dough, then you added all the spinach, yeah, yeah, yeah. close it, and then you put it into another one and added more yeah, spinach. Yeah, yeah, I try to do as much layers as possible. We make it thin, you know. So multiple layer layers. Layer after layer, thin, like try to go as a paper, thin as a paper and stuff. And this one's just like, this is round. The other one's gonna be more yeah, like a, a roll. roll style. Okay, so now that the burrito is ready, we put it in the oven, we wait 15 minutes, and then we eat. Okay, so Nick, what do we have here? All right, this is three different kinds of burrito. We have cheese, that's gonna be like white cheese or feta cheese with what's called G's. It's like similar to ricotta, but it's a little ripened. Mm -hmm. uh, this is with meat, it's ground beef and onions. Uh, okay. Probably a lot of black pepper in there too, oh, really amazing. good. And then the last one is gonna be spinach and leek, and there's a little cheese in there as well. Perfect, and yes. if you want, they probably have Nutella one as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they also have dessert if you want that, but we're going super savory today. Yes. Uh, I think we have to start off with cheese, right? Let's do it. Okay, so just grab one of these. Beautiful. Look at that cheese. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Oh. oh, the layers so crumbly. Mmm. Like crispy and soft at the same time, right? Exactly. Oh, so good. And the best thing about this is you can eat it whenever you want throughout the day. You know, for me, it's more like a breakfast item. Yeah. But if you want to, midday for me, snack. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm hmm. Same day. <laughs> you can work for 24 hours. <laughs> mm hmm. And you pair this with coffee, water, and if you want, raki, right? If you want some raki, also we got this yogurt drink. Okay. With iron. It's, um,. Just like from just regular yogurt, fermented milk, water. Exactly. So this is the perfect pairing, right? Oh yeah, super savory. Mm, yeah. A little salty. A little bitter, right? Yeah. That bitterness helps cut through the the grease of the the burek. Exactly. So it yeah. also works as a pack cleanser, mm -hmm. right? Oh, this is amazing. Incredible. <laughs> I love this. Incredible. Okay, so which one you want to go to next? Um, let's get at the meat. Yeah. The meat. So this is the meat, right? This one's the meat. Yeah. Cheers. Bro. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Wow. These guys are not stingy with the filling. Exactly, because sometimes love that. it's like just layers and layers and layers and no, <laughs> nothing yeah. but filling. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. And it comes off obviously like this, the rolled one, mm -hmm. and then you have the other one that's more like a pie. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The other one's sort of like flat, all the layers on top of each other, mm -hmm. cut into slices. Yeah, they cut into slices like a pizza, right? Yeah. Just like this. Just like that. Wow. Oh, you haven't finished yours yet? Mm-mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's your favorite of these? Oh man, that's like a Sophie's choice, right? So I'm like, I think on, on a usual day I'm a leek guy. Okay. You know that savory, sweet onion flavor? Mm -hmm. But the meat works as well. Yeah, the meat's amazing. <laughs> I mean, the minced meat, you have like a little bit of spices yes, in there. Yes, exactly. That peppery, so good. it's really good. And the onions are like caramelized and melted. Oh, wow. What a good food. What a good food, <laughs> I know. Comfort food. <laughs> And this is the leek one, right? That one's the spinach. Then we'll go that with the one's leek. the leek. Yeah. So good. 
the first time I tried Boric was when I went to Bosnia. But there, it's always like meat, mm -hmm. right? It's yeah. meat pie. It's not really spinach and cheese. But in Albania and Kosovo, you have the variation. And then obviously, you could add other things, right? Yeah. Yeah, in Bosnia, um, Burek is only with meat, and they have other names for like every different type, upper okay. type, and they get really offended if you if you call a, a, a Burek with leeks, if you call that Burek, they get super offended, but okay. for us Albanians, it's all Burek. So it's all Burek for you guys, obviously other countries, it's a little different than names. Yeah, yeah, we have names as well, but if you say to somebody Burek with leeks, they know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And this is all obviously an influence from the Ottoman, right? Yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting because um, if you look back, there's actually a food in ancient Rome mm -hmm. called placenta cake. Okay. Placenta basically meaning like a disc. That's mm -hmm. the word for disc. And it was like layers and layers of dough. And in between the dough was honey and cheese. Oh, that sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. But actually, I think um, it's actually one of the precursors to what's, what we eat now is, is burek or pita or all the savory pies that you eat in the Balkans, it actually Seven. might be an indigenous food eaten since like ancient Roman times. Incredible. As well as something else, which I'm not sure if we'll have later today, but it's called fli, which you might have had in Try Kosovo flip. or pita yeah. clinic. Yeah, lots and of layers again, as well. lots of layers. Dairy. Yes, lots with dairy. dairy. And, and so that's actually a food that goes back to ancient Rome. Wow, incredible. The history yeah. there is insane. Yeah. And I think like, cause you were saying honey and cheese, this one paired oh, with yeah. some Albanian honey. Incredible. And this, by the way, the leek, so Delicious. good. This is the best one for me right <laughs> now. Mm -hmm. So sweet and savory mm -hmm. at the same time. It's a perfect blend. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. So obviously, if you're a vegan, you have a few different options. If you want some meat, the meat. Mm. Definitely. Definitely. So I'd rank it like right now the leek, then meat, then cheese. Wow, check you out. <laughs> It's interesting because I think you find a lot of people, cheese is their go-to. Their go-to. They're like, oh, cheese is my thing, but I'm with you. I'm like, I go for the savory, I go for the leek, I go for the meat, for sure. Yeah. Before we go to the next place, I just gotta say, this is an amazing cheese borek. Feta and ricotta mix. I haven't had this before. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mmm. -hmm. cheese. Nice layers. Nick. My man. David. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so next we're going to Chakor, another Albanian restaurant. So this is my first time in the Bronx, and this is what I came to, you know? Amazing. So Italian neighborhood, Little Italy, love the architecture here. So the brick buildings, really old school, right? So everything here is from 60s, 70s? So the 60s and 70s is when the Albanians started moving into this neighborhood. It was also, it was already like a really established uh, Italian neighborhood by then. Oh, hello, David. Uh, David. Pleasure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's the Rocky? <laughs> Where's the Rocky? We, it. we, we oh, got it inside. We're doing it, we're doing it. Oh, Your episode in Mrizi is on of it. Oh, it's the best. Uh, <laughs> loved it. That's my favorite place in Albania. Oh. What it's <laughs> I'm gonna give you some traditional traditional Albanian food and some traditional Italian food as well because we're an Italian Albanian restaurant <laughs> okay so I visited Stone Castle when I was in Kosovo amazing winery huge the biggest right yep and they make some good raki delicious raki cheers Gazur Gazur rich mir So if you guys don't know, they drink this in the morning, usually the older men, to get the blood flowing. Oh yeah, and they say it kills the microbes, right? Kills My the great microbes. grandfather used to have a shot first thing in the morning, even before his coffee. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it gives you wings, dude. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> ah, cheers, one more cheers. time. Gazor, gazor. Mm. Ooh, it's been a while. It is nice. I love Raki. Oh, such a good drink. So good. All right, let's eat. Here we go. We have, uh, I think, a dozen different dishes. Yes. We got a few Italian dishes, but majority of it is Albanian, right? Yes. So we have the baby lamb here with some potatoes. It looks incredible. So good. Juicy. Yes. Over here we have chebab tore, so yeah. it's like chebab chichi, right? Minced meat, uh, basically like sausages, right? Yep. yep. Also the burger. Yeah, it's not really burger. It's like similar, but yeah, patty. Patty. The same mixture. And these, this is sujok. Sujok, so yeah, so it has spicy sausage. Yes. I had this in Peya. Yes, right? you did. You definitely did. I definitely did. And over here we have the kaimak. Right? Yes, kaimak. That's the boiled cream, and then the the part that solidifies on the top is skimmed off and aged a little bit, as you can see. That's crazy. <laughs> mm, it's a little salty too. Really nice. Yes. And over here we have like roasted peppers. We have some more cheese. We have this like white bean soup. I don't know what this is. Is that That's lamb? That's veal. That's veal. Okay. Yep. And then we have goulash over here. We also have uh, red wine from Stone Castle, and we have. Uh, so cordon bleu, right? This one? one. Yep. And that one? 
That one is Vio Palumbo, I think. Okay. Yeah, Vio Palumbo. Vio Palumbo. And then over here we have the amazing bread. The best part of Albanian culture is the bread. It's so good, so nice good. and fluffy, and this pairs perfectly with literally everything here. Yeah. So I think what we should do is just probably get some of this, get a chivaptori, and that's it, right? Let's do it. So a little bread, little chivapa. Mm -hmm. So you can just open it up. Just gonna open it up. I mean, just gonna go. grab one, right? Yeah. I did a little bad here, but it's all good. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the stuff, right? That is so good. Mm. I like love the smokiness in here, too. Smoky, salty, spicy. Mm -hmm. There's like a little onion garlic situation going on. Mm. Incredible. Incredible. And with the bread? Mm -hmm. So usually, you open this up. And you stuff it. Yeah. Right, so that's not chebaptori. That's a mixed grill. So chebaptori, it's an actual store okay. that sells chebapa. Little kaimak. No kaimak. Okay. Can you put it in. No kaimak with the chebapa. Okay. Looks good. I guess I'll do the same. Oh. There you Both go. Meal. Mm. Both meal. That's Both what meal. we say in, in uh, Albania. Both meal means. May do you well. May you do, may, exactly, may, may do you well. May do you well? Yeah. <laughs> Man, the pairing with this with the salt. So good, right? Yeah. And the and the kaimak has got that funk, because it's cultured. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, almost like blue cheese almost flavor, like blue cheese, right? Yeah. Oh, it's so smelly, good. That's great. Yeah, exactly. I love this. Mm. And then like, you know, the, the pairings make sense, right? So you got like roasted vegetables, but also these are uh, pickled peppers. Okay. So these are some borka peppers that are boiled in a mixture of vinegar and oil and water and that acid sort of like cuts through right because we got the the meat we got the dairy and then you get the acid from the pickles how about some of this goulash this is veal goulash oh wow so if you guys don't know goulash is basically like uh either veal or beef like a stew yep, right yep uh you know i'm hungarian it's a big thing in hungary but they also have it throughout the balkans it is amazing it's a really hearty you know meal this is for the winter months yes so so I'll move the bread because we have never ending bread here. And then some potatoes. Some potatoes. Okay, so, so goulash. So goulash, right? So you're gonna do it yeah, with bread sure. or just like that? And it's veal, right? This is veal. All right. Oh. Mmm. That is comfort food. Dude, it's so tender. Literally so just tender. melts in your mouth. I love the gravy here. Yeah. Mmm. Nice and light. It's very, very nice. light. Mmm. It's not greasy, it's not fatty. No, at all. So this is so perfect good. for winter. Just this. Some nice rocky. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, phenomenal dish. My favorite dish is in this place. Is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Besides I, the, the baby lamb. Uh, I think yeah. we have to just jump on this. Like, yeah. I'm going to grab a piece. Getting we celebrate St. Nicholas Day. And my mm -hmm. grandfather would have a lamb hanging in the garage for a few days until the big feast. And he would roast this in the backyard. It's called Ferlik. For lick. For lick. Yeah. Oh, Hand to yeah. face, right? Hand to face. <laughs> Hand to face. Grab no, a piece. Yeah, yeah, you can use your fork. Yeah, yeah. We're civilized. You can see how it just falls. Look at that, how it just falls Dude, apart. It like melts. Oh, the skin's the best. Parts, and it's crispy, but it's still moist. It's not dry. Mm. That's the, the trick to making for Nick, as he knows. Oh, wow. Look at this. The best part of the roast Man, lamb. Is the, you can okay. see the rib is the best because it's got like the connective tissue between the bones, right? All mm -hmm. the cartilage. And it just slides off. And I know it looks like there's not a lot of meat in there, but look at that bite. Wow. That's the stuff, right? But, oh. That's mm. <laughs> so good. I, I forgot. Oh my god. Asia. Look at you. Mm. And the best part about this, if you have a hangover, it like cuts it. They, and yes. You know? Because the oils, <laughs> right? Yes. I'm gonna try some of the cornbread. Alright. You try the cornbread and then I think. Try the soup? Try the beans, right? Mm -hmm. It's like with the cornbread. No? So with it? Okay. So I'm just gonna try this solo. Mm hmm. Mm. Nice. It's, it's similar to like cornbread in, in South of America. Yes, it's not like northern cornbread that's like sweet and fluffy like cake. Exactly, it's, it's less sweet. This is like sustenance food, right? Like, mm. It's very, very flaky. Obviously has like some water or wine to flush it down. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man. Stone Castle wine. Oh, what an amazing cap, huh? Delicious. Oh, Delicious. so good. If you guys don't know about the wines, Albania, Kosovo, they are incredible. So many good wines. I personally like the reds, but the whites are like, you know, outstanding as yes. well. And then obviously you pair that all with Raki and you enjoy life. Yes, you do. Basically, as we are it. now. Oh my gosh, my friends, this is too much. You overdid it. 
This guy's like, you have to try every dish in the house. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's not the whole menu. <laughs> <laughs> dip, bro. Dip. Mm. Classic. Oh, I Classic. love white beans. I got another light dish. Mmm, super comforting. In the winter months, perfect. And I can't wait to be in coastal Albania in a really cold day, you know, in January. Have this, pair with some Rocky, walk around, enjoy life. Yep. Dude, that's, that's what it's about over there. The I'm beans, you know, it. these beans are like clearly like a sustenance food, right? Mm -hmm. Like something that people had to eat out of necessity, mm -hmm. but turned it into something amazing. Like so delicious, so flavorful, so comforting. <laughs> And it's like, for me, beans are like soup from a stone, right? You get these exactly. little dried little beans and you make a delicious meal out of it. It's incredible. I love beans. I can have this with salad, you know, the big white beans. Oh, I yeah. love them. They're so good. <laughs> this guy's like pulling out every single wine. I got the Chardonnay from Stone Castle. <laughs> Too many dishes. We're skipping a few of them. We're jumping straight to dessert. We have here baklava, obviously a staple in the Balkans. Yes. And then this is? This is called shechir para. Okay. And that means like sugar coins or sugar money. So it's basically and a sugar cookie. It's a sugar cookie. It's like a biscuit. It's kind of like a kind of shortbread -y kind of biscuit. Mm -hmm. And then soaked in a sugar syrup. Sugar syrup, obviously. So super, super sweet. Both of them are extremely sweet. This one has walnuts, obviously. So that is more of a staple baklava. Definitely, yeah. This is like standard but delicious baklava. Always. And and this is also called in some parts urmashitsa. Okay. Uh, and an, an Albanian Cheshire part. So if you want to go American, you just throw a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. <laughs> We're not doing that today. We're going to do it. Keep it Balkan. Just keep soak it, it in sugar syrup. Here's. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mm. Nice and moist. Yep. This has a uh, sugar syrup. Mm. Uh, like semolina, crumbly. Mm. Really satisfying after like a really savory meal, right? Yeah. It, it basically just like falls apart in your mouth. Whoa, great palate cleanser as well. Excellent. And then we have the baklava. I I'm personally a huge fan of the walnuts, right? Nice and flaky. Mm. Staple. This is one of my favorite desserts on the planet. See, I'm not a sweet, sweet tooth guy, but this is the best. But when you go for it, you go real sweet. I go real sweet. <laughs> I pay for it later. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to this incredible restaurant. Cheers. Chakor. 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 Hey, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers guys. Cheers, cheers. Zuar, 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 thank you for coming. Palamendir Shun. Mm. Wow. And thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Ciao, ciao, ti vediamo. Ciao, 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 palamendir Shun. Thank you. Ciao, grazie, grazie. Ciao, David. Ciao, I'll see you soon, okay? Oh, of course. All right, so we're going to the next place, but Nick has to leave us. Nick, thank you so much, dude. Thanks, David. I appreciate Good it. Good hanging man. out with you. Thanks for enjoying our food and for being in the Bronx. Next time I come, I'm going to your house and you're going to make me some burrack? Oh, yeah. For sure? Yes. All right, awesome. So follow him, Instagram, all day. All right, take Let's it go. easy, Thank David. you, bro. Thank you. Thanks. This is the real little Italy. Not the one in Mulberry Street. This is the real Little Italy, and, and it's a, a Italian, now Italian, Albanian, and uh, South American neighborhood. But the Italian part of it is still authentic. It's old time Italians, old timers that still speak different dialects Napolitano, Calabrese, Siciliano. Albanians uh, started coming in here because most Albanians came to the United States through Italy, and because they spoke Italian, they came and started doing jobs here in the restaurant business, becoming supers for the Italian landlord, and hence we became one neighborhood. Uh, it's a very safe neighborhood, even though it's in the Bronx. People really, really take good care of each other. And if you want the best Italian and Albanian food in New York, it's right here. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll see you next time. My man, how you doing? Good, thanks. David. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Hello, hello. How you guys doing? Thank you, thank you. Pleasure. I love this restaurant. So it's like a traditional home, right? Yes, it is. Awesome. So you have all the different things you use for, for gardening, for yes. cooking over here. These are all artifacts collected from uh, mostly more from uh, 19th century and uh, traditional uh, clothing uh, from back 19th centuries to introduce our culture and tradition to uh, Americans and others. So it's like a museum uh, and also like a uh, restaurant and museum. Uh, which you, you get to see it in. It definitely feels like you're stepping back into Albania, Kosovo. I mean, just the traditional style setting. I love it. So it's like almost like a Albanian tavern, I feel, you know? Yes. 
That's what the, the feels, yes. right? And what do we do here in terms of food? We do chavapa. Basically, what we did is we do cook only authentic Albanian food. Show others our tradition and bring our food and introduce it to uh, everybody around here, which has been very greatly appreciated. We're starting off with a little rocky. Yes. So let's do it. Gazor, Gazor. It's a Gazor. Gazor. And uh, it's rocky made in uh, Ravets, uh, imported and uh, made by a great family, Gates family back there. We are very lucky to have him in our community and uh, it's, uh, they brought it here for us. And, uh, do you do this bottoms up? No. Uh, you uh, no, you can we, sip, you can sip. We're not that old. We can, we can still do it. We can still do it. Gazor, Gazor. Thank you guys. Mm. It's so good. Oh my god. It's nice though. It's nice, yes. <laughs> this is how you're supposed to do it. You know, early morning, a little bit of this. Yes. Keep going, right? Gives you energy. So, so we have the appetizers. Yes. Too many. They, these are the appetizers um, that we serve in here. We try to stay very authentic, flea. Yep. It takes uh, around uh, four hours to be made. So, this is uh, the best. Yes, uh, and then that's why we have cooks coming in here in the early morning, and they start cooking appetizers very early. We have so flea, yeah. we have like a small burek. Yes. We have always cheese and peppers. It's like the best combination. Cheese and peppers from uh, for us and back home uh, always has been a saver. Uh, back there we had we had so many cows, we had so many uh, um, lamb and all that. So that's how we fed uh, in the property. And um, so cheese, peppers, that was uh, made in, in our country. Corn, flour, uh, uh, regular flour mm -hmm. has been there always. And this is why our dishes are basically mainly uh, heavy on the cheese. Yeah, so in Albania, if you guys don't know, they love their dairy, right? So cheese, yes. milk, that is part of the cuisine. Yes. You're always gonna have that. Yes. So it's six different cheeses, yes. multiple layers, and they do this, they, they yes. put a layer, exactly. cheese, layer. Uh, very thin layers of a dough put down with a spoon. It takes it takes a lot of time. The first time I tried Fleet was in Kukas. Cooks, yes. Kukas, yes. Yeah, so that was like, it's a border town with Kosovo. I mean, from there to prison, I think it's like 25 minutes. 25 minutes, really exactly. Close. Yes, very close. But this was like the ultimate. You know, I thought Burek was good. This is way better. This is... Uh, so do we try one of these? So this is like a yes. mini Burek, right? This is uh, called Mantilla. Mantilla? Uh, yeah, it's Mantilla. It's uh, uh, five different uh, layers of, five layers of the, um, the dough. Uh, and after that, right, there's a veal meal, uh, veal meat in mm. there. A lot of our dishes, uh, the taste that you're gonna get is you're gonna get from uh, different vegetables uh, combined together on different level. There's a lot of products that now exist, but the back, back then they didn't exist. There's this is like the ultimate bite. It's an amazing bite, right? It's an amazing bite. It's doughy. Yeah. It's full. Yeah. A little crispy on the outside. It's like yes. perfect. But you know mm. what? Forgive me. <laughs> Mmm, there's like 18 layers here. Crazy. Yeah, it's many. Mmm, so six cheeses here? Yes, melt together. So basically you put dough, and between each, each, each layer of dough, you put down a um, layer of uh, cheese, mm -hmm. very small portion. It's filling, I mean, this is something that, like obviously if you're gonna go work in the field, you have this in the morning to get with you, right? Yes. You can eat it right there. That was the idea, that was the idea back then. Yes. This is next level. It's, it's good. Who's? Yeah. On par with Kukas. Mm. Yes. Wow, and so there's herbs in here as well, right? Yes. A little bit of, um, a little bit of uh, our, um, our, our herbs. <laughs> so there's cornbread with some more yes. herbs, right? Exactly. So basically, um, as we were talking earlier, um, back in the park, we didn't have a luxury of uh, uh, making fancy dishes and uh, Sorry. Corn was something that was um, that we grew back there, and so we had to become um, uh, creative with what we had exactly. back then. And this is um, this is one of our dishes. It's called lechenik. Mm. It's made as well with some cheeses in there, some uh, Albanian ingredients. Oh, uh, and um, this is like a, like a sour cream on top, right? It's like a, it's a cold kama. Mm. Uh, yes, it's kama. obviously it's kama. Yes, Come on. you've had it before, right? And over here we have the Ivar, an Ivar yeah. which I love. Yes. This I would mix it with everything. Yes, yeah, and you do actually, but with the cornbread, it's it's absolutely. Oh, it is. Very very delicious. Yes. It's a, it's a pe red pepper paste. Mm hmm. That's what it is. So mm. um, it takes you know, it takes hours hours to uh, to make it. No smoky um, too. Yes, it is smoky. Yes, it is. So basically, what we do is we take the pe pepper, 
first we put them in the fire, we burn them a little bit. And after that, they go into the container, they get smashed. It's, it's, it's a long, long process. And after that, they go back into the, in the fire and container and they get like uh, cooked for hours. Cooked for hours? For hours. Wow. I mean, this is the best paste on the planet, right? It is. Yeah, no, it, it is, is. It is. So, like, this pairs well with everything. Yes. You can have it with some peppers and cheese, or you could just go in and grab some, right? Yep. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I would eat this like this. Yes, and um, this, <laughs> <laughs> this gets. This, I have uh, one of the cooks in here. He takes pride of this. So next Let's up, I'm gonna it. grab some of this beautiful bread, open it up like that. Oh, okay, wow, the creaminess mixed with the bread. Mmm, more like sour cream. Yes. Mmm, sausage. It's good. Dude, you're too much, man. Let me also get some of this right here. Yes, to try that. Mm -hmm. That's gonna give you a different taste. This is insane. <laughs> this is part of the culture, right? So they always have pepper and cheese. It's one of the best combinations ever. I'm a big pepper guy. I love vegetables, and the vegetables in you know Albania and Kosovo, they're so fresh. Oh, we were very lucky to have a Italian market. Uh, like literally door. right next door, yes, right? Yes, with an old lady here, we all call, call her mama because she's like she's like an old, she's an old lady. She's very strong though. She comes in here and, you know, she's like a like a supervisor. A little auntie, right? Yes, and she comes in and she goes with a couple of bags into the Italian market, uh, picks up all the fruits and everything that we can cook for that day, does, cleans them very, very well, puts them aside and tells everybody what, what we're going to cook for that day. I'm definitely going to try a little piece of this. Yes. Right? So I cut it right here. Oh wow, so what type of pepper is this? Is it a red pepper? Spicy? No, right? No, it's not spicy, no. It's Italian, actually we call it Italian pepper. Mm. That's what it's called. Mm. Oh man, this is my jam. Creamy peppers. Like, this is a great dish. Again, this all feels very comforty, right? Yes. Very homey. You know, again, people were very poor. They just made stuff with what they had, you know, the land. So they had their cows, yes. they got the milk, they got the peppers and just mixed it into a tub. Yes, and because of many, many wars that we had back there, there was not import, import and export most of the time, mm -hmm. adapted uh, in those times. And because there were no uh, no transportation except on the horses back there, you know, you had to live with what you can make. Whatever is within the land. Yes, when I decided to uh, make this restaurant and do what I did in here, I said I am going to stick to what they used to eat and the way they used to prepare dishes. Okay, so that was the appetizers. Now we have yes. the entrees. They come from different um, parts of um, of our country. So you have mantilla and top in here that uh, basically these are made in Kosovo. The burek, right? Like a little it's dumpling. Like, in a way, exactly. Uh, with veal meat. Wow. Um, and, with cheese, uh, always. Yes, cheese. Yes, it's a pepper uh, filled in with um, with the rice, uh, veal meat as well, uh, pepper some tomato and if you guys don't know about tavas basically yes. they put it into the oven it's yes. baked in like almost like a skillet plate yes. right yes and uh, and then they put it in here obviously it was moved from the tava yes. into these plates so basically yes. and this is like the, the best this is uh, tava there we take pride of on, on the liver liver inside liver yes. inside also pepper yes. you got cheese yes. this is what I consider the like the holy grail of tavas yes. you know it's creamy it's hearty it is the best. It is. My God, this is the best dish. Thank the best dish of the house. Thank you. Wow. So I'm gonna just use that. Mm. Mm. The liver has that like that feeling. It's always the same, right? Yes. It's almost like a gamey uh, texture, right? Yes, it's a little it dense. Is. Yes. Whoa. You're gonna have some, or you're good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some. <laughs> I'm also gonna get one of these. It reminds me of the brook. Well, it's on fire. Look, hot. Mm. So imagine like a tiny burek, right? But then you have all the creaminess around it. It's good. I love you. <laughs> this guy's the man. This guy is like too much. Oh, another Rocky? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have Rocky with your meal, you weren't in Albania. Yes. The way we uh, toast it, we say uh, cheese. So gazor yeah, and then gazor. to dua. Yes, and as we say the, um, the Albanian home or the restaurant belongs to the God and the guest. And this is how we do this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you for that. Thank you. Like, this Appreciate is too it. much. Like, I Thank really, you. really love your food. I'm going to just like... 
Yeah. I'm supposed to be eating a lot more today, so slow pace. Yes. Mm. Okay, next up we're going down to the kitchen to see how they make the Skanderbeg yeah. dish. He's our chef over here, our knee. He's making Skanderbeg um, from scratch. You guys will see it, how he makes it. These are the ingredients that uh, we make it with. It's basically filet mignon, it's a veal filet mignon. There's smoked meat in there. There are three cheeses blended together and the spices. And there's a way we roll it and we make it. It's called uh, Skanderbeg. It's named after our greatest greatest warrior, Skanderbeg, Judge Cassiodorus Skanderbeg, are a savior of Christianism, known as a savior of Christian, Christianism back in, uh, in, uh, in Europe. So Skanderbeg is Jerz Castriotti, right? So that is in Cruya. It's about an hour, hour and a half north of Tirana. He basically, you know, fended off the Ottomans for 25 years. If it wasn't for him, they would have gone into basically Western Europe and taken over. Okay, and right here we have the Skanderbeg. So basically it's veal that has been pounded. They added the smoked meat, cheese. They wrapped it, right, with the veal. Then they breaded it and fried it. That's great. It's gonna be amazing, and like I said, this is a dish that we take pride of because and it's named after after Skinder Bengals. Ooh, it's gonna be really hot, right? Mmm. Oh man, this is the ultimate schnitzel. It is. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm, I love the cheese. Very gooey. Oh man, the veal is like perfect. Nice, nice layer too. It's not like crazy fried, but yeah, it's it's, it's made by um, uh, veal uh, filet mignon. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, even, even when we pound it, we pound it just very, 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 very light. I can't stop. I didn't want to eat too much more. <laughs> so good. Thank you. Wow. And so where would you find this traditionally? In what city? It's more, uh, mainly in, in, uh, in, in Kosovo and, uh, and Kruy as well. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. But uh, in uh, North Albania more. More? More than, uh, yes. Yeah, it's another like really hearty dish, great for cold weather. Yes. But you know what? This this deserves a little gazor, right? Yes. Another Rocky? Yes. My work. friends, thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate Thanks it. For coming. Thank you, thank you. But I'm Neri. Thanks for coming. An Albanian restaurant belongs to the God and the guest, and it's great to have you guys here. <sighs> Woo! Cheers. My man, thank you so much, Palamenderi. Thank you. Thank you, Tassos. Amazing, huh? Why are why are people here so kind, man? It's oh crazy, man, it's the hospitality, man. dude. I know, I know. You know, like I've experienced hospitality around the world, but this is like next level. You know, this is this is like you're basically part of the family now. Yeah. Know? And yeah, so we're almost done. We're going to No Fork right now. So might have a little snack. <laughs> please, <laughs> no more, please. No more food, right? <laughs> right there, right there, No Fork. Beton, how you doing, man? Doing great, man. How are you? Very good. So tell me about No Fork. Uh, so No Fork is the sandwich shop uh, brought from Kosovo. Been in the industry for like 25 years. We have those kind of famous sandwiches from back home. The main stuff is the prosciutto, the chicken, or the mixed sandwich as well. So No Fork has sandwiches. They have pizzas. We have the prosciutto with cheese. We have oregano on top. I love the bread. It's almost like a hot dog bread, right? And then if you want, they also have pizzas. Beautiful pizza, I just saw like two of them being made. Really incredible. Let's do it, my man. Last oh bite, last bite. Oh my god, bro. It is. Oh Oof. yeah. Dude, you got it too much. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Good sir, <good sir. laughs> Oh my god. What a sandwich, huh? This is amazing. Amazing. This is amazing. The cheese, it's messed through. Oh my god. You have so much prosciutto in there. I love the brand, nice, nice and fluffy. Mmm, but the oregano, so makes this dish, huh? You know, it's like the cherry on top of the cake, the oregano. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it adds so much more flavor to it. A hundred percent. And wow, this is my last bite, dude. Oh my god. So good. Wow. This is the Albanian corner in Little Italy, the Bronx, New York City. What an experience. We went to four spots. You have to go to all these places. Oh my God. I mean, we tried Burek, we had Javap, we had Raki, we had wine, we had Tavas, and a sandwich. I mean, what an experience. If you guys are ever in New York City, definitely head out here to the Bronx and experience true Albanian culture in America. Nothing like it. Hospitality is top notch. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. See the next travel food adventure somewhere in New York City. Yeah, wow, I ate too much food. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done for the day.